A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a poignant and deeply emotional revelation, Lisa Marie Presley shared her unconventional grieving process for her son, Benjamin Keough, who tragically died by suicide at the young age of 27 in 2020. In her posthumous memoir, From Here to the Great Unknown, Presley candidly discusses the profound heartache she experienced following her son's untimely death and the extraordinary lengths she went to in order to cope with her loss. For two long months, Lisa Marie kept Benjamin's body at her home in Los Angeles, preserved on dry ice, as she struggled to come to terms with the reality of his passing. She explained that there is no law in California mandating immediate burial, allowing her the time she felt she needed to make decisions about his final resting place. I felt so fortunate that there was a way that I could still parent him, delay it a bit longer so that I could become okay with laying him to rest," she wrote. The only child of the legendary Elvis Presley, Lisa Marie found herself torn between burying Benjamin in Hawaii or at Graceland, the final resting place of her father. She maintained a room in her home at a constant temperature of 55 degrees to preserve her son's body, a choice that many might find unsettling, but for Lisa Marie, it provided a sense of comfort during an unimaginable time. In her memoir, she expressed, I got so used to him, caring for him and keeping him there. I think it would scare the living F, and he'd piss out of anybody else to have their son there like that, but not me. The memoir also reveals the touching bond between Lisa Marie and her daughter, Riley Keough, as they sought to honor Benjamin's memory through matching tattoos. The duo invited a tattoo artist to their home, where Benjamin's body lay, to replicate the tattoos he had. Riley recounted the surreal experience, stating, I've had an extremely absurd life, but this moment is in the top five. Eventually, Benjamin was laid to rest at Graceland, alongside his grandfather, Elvis Presley. Lisa Marie's grief did not end there. She herself passed away in January 2023 at the age of 54 due to cardiac arrest from complications related to a small bowel obstruction. In the wake of her death, Riley became the sole trustee of Graceland, navigating the complexities of family legacy and loss. In an upcoming interview with Oprah Winfrey, Riley reflects on the dual loss of her mother and brother, expressing her belief that they are off on a new adventure. I think the perspective that I choose to have is that they're on to a new adventure, she shared. Lisa Marie's journey through grief and the unique ways she sought to honor her son's memory illustrate the profound impact of loss and the lengths to which a mother will go to preserve her connection to her child. As we remember Lisa Marie Presley, we also acknowledge the importance of mental health awareness and the resources available for those struggling with similar issues. If you or someone you know is facing a mental health crisis, there is help available. In New York City, Individuals can reach out to 1888-NYCWELL for free and confidential crisis counseling. For those outside the city, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline can be reached at 988 or through their website at suicidepreventionlifeline.org. Lisa Marie's story serves as a reminder of the importance of seeking support during difficult times and the enduring love between a mother and her child. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.